Aaron Judge is the best player in Major League Baseball this season. Yes, I think it's safe to say that Aaron Judge right now is the best player in the 2020 Major League Baseball season. The dude is on an absolute tear. Now, is he the best player in baseball at the end of the day? Absolutely not. Mike Trout still exists. But the way Aaron Judge is playing, the way he has shown us that he can hit that talent threshold this year in 2020, he's a top player in baseball. At the beginning of the year, I had him ranked as my number 11 player going into the season. I think one of my biggest questions for him was about staying healthy. The guy just couldn't put together a fully healthy season. But after what we're seeing this year, it might not matter because he's just really good. Still strikes out a lot, but it doesn't matter because when he hits the ball, he's hitting it far. He's hitting it long. He's hitting it for home runs. He's easily a top 10 player, arguably top five right now in baseball. So in today's video, I'm going to talk about Aaron Judge's 2020 season. Talk about some of the other players that are off to really hot starts this year, being some of the best players in the league and just talking about baseball in general. So as always, if you guys do enjoy this content, you want to see more of it, make sure to leave a like. That's best way to show your support. Subscribe if you're new and you enjoy the content. If you love baseball, click that sub button, join the team. Remember to get in the comment section down below. Let me know who you think is the current best player in baseball for the 2020 season, excluding Mike Trout. Mike Trout's always the right answer, but who else you got? And don't forget, you can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Twitch. All that stuff links are in the description. If you're watching this while the Mets game's on, head on over to Twitch. I'll be streaming there. So the video is pretty much about Aaron Judge and the best players in the league. Let's start off by talking about the year he's having in 2020, because I can't just make the statement that he is the best player in Major League Baseball without giving some information stats to back it up. So first, let's start off with the traditional stats, you know, home runs, RBIs, all that good stuff. And when you look at his numbers there, they jump off the page. Now, I think as I'm recording this video, he's actually hit a home run. And I think he's like three for four on the day with a couple RBIs. So his numbers are actually going to be better than what you're seeing right now. So at the time of recording, Aaron Judge has seven homers and 17 RBIs with two doubles, hitting 277 with a 333 on base, 766 slugging and an OPS at 1.099, basically 1100, 201 OPS plus. Now, like I said, he hit a home run today. I think he has three hits, drove in a couple RBIs. So he's sitting at what? Eight homers, 20 RBIs, a batting average above 300 and OPS above 1200. Like what? Unbelievable stuff from Aaron Judge. He's off to a crazy hot start, but it gets better. He's unbelievable in the field. He's one of the best right fielders in baseball defensively as well. Arguably could have won a gold glove. If it wasn't for Mookie Betts out there, you're probably seeing Aaron Judge win one. He's that good defensively. Cannon of an arm, gets to a lot of balls, runs really well for an absolute massive human being that he is, you know it pains me to say this because I absolutely hate the Yankees as a Mets fan, but Aaron Judge is the real deal. Now, let's take a look at some other stats. We'll drop some Saber metrics in there. I'm doing that a little bit more now. And we'll also take a stat cast to give you some percentiles, how hard he's hitting the ball, barrel rate, all that good stuff. So right now on fan graphs, he's actually 11th in war at 0.8. Shockingly, Mike Yastrzemski and Fernando Tatis are one and two. Didn't see that coming. His K rate, granted, is a little bit high before coming into today's game. It was 32.7%. That's a lot of strikeouts. And he's not really walking a lot, 3.8 walk percent but you can expect that to even out a little bit more as the season goes on and he has a bigger sample size. Right now, he's not walking because he's just raking. That's okay. It's fine to not walk if you're hitting like Aaron Judge is right now. His ISO, which is basically isolated slugging, is almost 500. It's at 489. And I think after today's game, it's going to be even better. Shockingly, Babip, not that high, 261. But I guess that's probably because most of his hits are home runs. And I think home runs don't count towards Babip, if I'm not mistaken. 455 Woba, 202 WRC plus. All the Saber metrics are telling you that Aaron Judge is doing ridiculous things in the 2020 season, just like the regular traditional stats. And I have a feeling StatCast is also going to agree with me. Yeah, StatCast agrees with me. 100th percentile on exit velo, which we knew he always hits the ball hard, but literally the best at it. 94th percentile at expected batting average. Hard hit percentage is 92%. Expected slugging, 99th. Expected Woba, 98. Barrel percentage, 95. Even his sprint speed is above average, 61%. Outfield jump, you know, the jump he gets on the ball, 92nd. Does everything pretty ridiculous ridiculously well. Now his outs above average are a little low and obviously he's going to swing and miss a bit, have a lot of Ks. But when you're talking about like hitting the ball hard, reads on balls in the outfield, Aaron Judge is pretty elite. It's it's crazy. His barrel percentage, 20% of the time, he is barreling up the ball. Average exit velo of almost 95 miles an hour. The launch angle is like, oh, it's so good. 15 degree launch angle, that is almost exactly what you want. He is just off the charts this year. So is he the best player in Major League Baseball? This season, I think he has a legitimate case. I know Mikey Shremsky and Tatis technically have higher wars, but I would be willing to give that crown right now to Aaron Judge. I wouldn't fight you. I wouldn't argue. I think you're right. I'm kind of in that same boat. Aaron Judge is the best player in baseball right now for the 2020 season. Obviously, in the grand scheme of baseball, 
Hall, he's not number one, but he's definitely inside the top 10. You got to include him there and you might even put him inside the top five. He's that good when health. Now, some other guys that let's talk about them having some phenomenal years to start off the 2020 season. You got Mike Yastrzemski of the San Francisco Giants, who I will admit, I thought might've been a one hit wonder. I thought, ah, he's not going to do it again. He's a journeyman. He's a late bloomer. Turns out Mike Yastrzemski is legit. I was wrong about him. 15 games thus far, three home runs, 13 RBIs, an OPS well above a thousand, average above 300, on base percentage, almost at a 500 clip. He's actually playing pretty good defense in the outfield as well. He's leading Major League Baseball in war at 1.2. He's seriously one of the reasons why the Giants are not losing every single game. Mike Yastrzemski and Wilmer Flores and Donovan Solano are carrying them. Who would have thought that would be a sentence you would say in 2020? I'm honestly just like prepared for anything to happen this year. The Marlins are what? Eight and one? Seven and one? What are they? They don't lose. The Marlins don't lose and they don't even have their right squad out there. They have an Olympic speed skater playing second base in Eddie Alvarez and they are still winning baseball games. 2020 is a wild year. Like the Orioles are like not the worst team ever. I, I, I don't even know what to do with this information. It's so backwards. It's so bizarre. Fernando Tatis. Wow. 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 Fernando Tatis. If you thought he was good last year, take a look at what he's done this year and his numbers jump off the page even more. Fernando Tatis is a special player. Shout out to the Fernando Tatis signed jersey right there. Ooh. Five homers, 12 RBIs. He's stealing four bases. He's playing much better defense than last year, limiting the throwing errors for sure. He's still striking out quite a bit. And I think you're going to get that from Fernando Tatis Jr. for his career. He's going to be a guy who swings and misses, but you're also going to get a guy who hits bombs, gets on base, steals bases, makes an impact in the field. One of the bright young stars of the game. Unbelievable. He's putting himself in like one of the best shortstop in baseball category right now. Nick Castellanos, I told you. I told you Nick Castellanos was going to be disgusting. I said he was like JD Martinez. People laughed at me, said you're crazy. He is currently showing he might be one of the best pure hitters, strictly offensive players in all of baseball. The guy just absolutely mashes, mashes. He's so good. How about a little bit of Louis Bob? Luis Robert. Two homers, six RBIs, four stolen bases, playing a really, really impressive center field. The guy is a freak athlete. Now, like Tatis, like Aaron Judge, like a lot of the guys we're talking about in here, he's going to strike out a bit. He's going to swing and miss. That's always been a concern with Luis Robert. And his ISO isn't particularly high, but he's been very impressive thus far early in the season. One of the reasons why the White Sox are having the success they are. Carlos Correa is back to looking like one of the best shortstops in baseball. He's healthy and he is carrying that Astros offense after, you know, the cheating scandal. He's one of the few guys that's actually performing for them this year. Mookie Betts is back to Mookie Betts ways. Even though he was still very good last year, it's just he's very good again this year. Ramon Laureano stepping up, casually a very good player, especially with that glove out in center field and that cannon of an arm. Jose Ramirez, Xander Bogarts. Like, remember when people were being disrespectful to Jose Ramirez, acting like he wasn't that good because he had a bad first half last year when he was clearly dealing with some stuff? Well, he's back. He's looking good. About the only player on the Indians hitting. Xander Bogarts carrying that Red Sox offense. That Red Sox team's looking terrible. He's one of the bright spots for sure. And then and Donovan Solano. Yes, Donovan Solano is a top 10 player in Major League Baseball right now, according to War. He's just mashing. He's not going to hit you many homers. He's got one on the year, but he's hitting what? 400? I'm sorry. Let me give him some respect. 447. Now, his on base percentage is 460, so he doesn't walk, but when you're hitting 447, who cares if you walk? Swing the bat. Slugging percentage is 638. A 207 WRC, plus, which puts him third in all of baseball. Ridiculous. And then the last guy I got to talk about, I got to give a shout out to the Detroit Tigers, Jacoby Jones. Jacoby Jones is going to possibly be in the conversation for the MVP this year if he keeps this up because he's playing so ridiculously well. He's a guy who's not been good his entire career in Major League Baseball. In fact, pretty horrible. One of the worst center fielder statistically in baseball, but this year, Jacoby Jones is hit. Now, the Tigers have only played 10 games, to be fair, so, you know, we pumped the brakes a little bit. We're not going to go crazy like we are with Aaron Judge or with some of these other things that we've said, but Jacoby Jones right now is playing like a top player in the league. That's a mind-blowing scenario to me. So, yes, I'm sure I might have forgotten a player or two that I didn't mention in today's video, but at the end of the day, the goal of this was to talk about Aaron Judge. Aaron Judge is silly good. Aaron Judge deserves respect of Major League Baseball fans out there. I know I love to give the Yankees crap, but when they deserve credit, I give it to them. And right now, Aaron Judge Judge deserves all the credit in the world. The dude's coming out, swinging the bat like crazy, playing good defense, top 10 player, possibly top five in baseball. I'd love to know what you guys think about Aaron Judge, the players that I mentioned in today's video down in the comments below. So make sure you drop your opinions there. I want to see what you guys say. Remember to leave a like on the video as well as subscribe to the channel if you love baseball content. We're always dropping it over here. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Twitch, Snapchat. All that stuff is in the description down below. And I think that's where we're going to wrap up today's video. You guys know the drill from here on out. YouTube recommends you watch this video as well as this is my most recent upload. So click through those if you have not yet seen them. Thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you all tomorrow for another video. Bye.